So this, uh, this chapter is about coded systems. And um, so we learn about what are the code functions, what are the differences between code functions in ggplot2, and how to use coordinate system in ggplot2. Um, the coordinate system can be managed with the use of co these coordinate um, code functions. And they usually um, done for zooming in to a plot in a particular area of the plot, flipping the axis of a plot, set a fixed aspect radio, or transform coordinates, change the shape of the plot, and set the coordinates for a map reaction. These are, can be linear coordinates or non-linear coordinates. For, for this, I've used the Irish data set. So we all know what's uh, inside the Irish data set, uh, what, what's inside. There is uh, the several length and width and petal length and width, and then the species. Uh, as I said, we have linear coordinates and nonlinear. The, the linear coordinates are uh, called Cartesian, called flip, the first one, uh, as you can see, um, here there are uh, three plots and you can see the difference um, using uh, the scale without um, any adjustment with the scale and the chord Cartesian. Um, here I'm comparing several length and several width. So you can see that this is the basic plot. And then when I do the scale continuous and I limit uh, to five to six, my, the view. Uh, if I use scale continuous, the, the plot is shrinked. Why if I use code Cartesian, I, like I'm zooming in the plot uh, within this, uh, this range. Then there is the chord flip, and the chord flip, um, same as uh, previous plot, several length, several width. Uh, while here, we can see that uh, with base, the, the, if I don't flip the plot, so I have the several length in the x axis and the several width in the y axis. If I flip the plot, this turn the axis upside down. So the plot is 90 degree turned uh, around and the, the axis as well are flipped within each other. And the, um, the smooth goes around with the, the flip. So it's flipped as well. Why, if I don't, uh, do the code flip, but I switch the, the data, so starting from the plot. So the code flip, uh, uh, so the, the smooth is uh, smoothing around uh, the, the plot data, so it's not flipped as uh, in when we use code flip. So the, the visualization seems different, but it's actually the same, it's just the, the smooth that changes. Um, we use a, a chord fixed when we want to uh, have the same ratio within the X and the Y axis. So here is the several width, several length, uh, uh, without the chord fixes, fixed, and here is with the chord fixed. So you, as you can see, uh, there is a slightly difference. So this is good if you want to post the plot inside, I don't know if application or everything is quite compact with view and it rescales everything um, with the same uh, uh, unit range. So these are the linear coordinate systems. While the non-linear coordinate systems are the functional chord polar, chord map, big map, chord uh, simple features, and chord transformation. 
So here, we, if we use cold polar, this is interesting because um, it actually flip, uh, changes the shape of the plot and transforming the plot uh, to, to have a rounded shape. Uh, for example, here, uh, it's a geom call. Uh, um, if we use cord polar, it transforms like this this, uh, this way. Um, and then you can use some options like uh, theta x or theta y. So theta x, uh, yeah. it mm, uh, basically transform the coordinates uh, uh, along the x-axis while the, the theta y in, along the, with the y-axis. Um, okay, here that, that was um, something that I was working on and uh, it's a good example to use chord polar. This is the Dubois challenge number eight, which is um, this one here. This one here. Uh, so to, um, to make this one, there's many, uh, so if, if you check on the, internet, uh, Twitter, that's different ways they did it and everything. Mm, the most simple one, um, I think um, we can see this here. Mm, for example, Um, if I load the data, we can see that the data are very uh, simple data. We have the years and the household values in dollars from uh, 1895 to 1899. So um, first thing I did it is to um, arrange the data frame uh, in reverse way. So in a way that we have 1999 on the top, so the, the highest, the, the, the recent uh, values on top. And then I, so this is uh, not mm, actually very needed. So I didn't use it at the end. So just take that off. Then I needed to, for, for some reason that mm, I'll show you later, I needed to, to add a row uh, in the data frame. So I did it this way. I don't need this one. So now the data frame looks like this. Okay, no, the third is not needed. Okay. So the data frame look, looks like this. We have one more row. Um, and then uh, to make the plot, first thing I did it, I thought that was, uh, uh, there were bars, okay? So um, let's, let's go here because I've taken something off. So here can be seen more clearly. So for, for, um, at the beginning, I thought that was, uh, um, there were bars. You know, because um, if I do bars, if I do G, uh, this thing and the bars or call, and I use a uh, uh, year. and the dollars, for example, so the household values. Uh, 
okay so these are the bars okay then if i add cord flipped uh, cord polar and theta y i obtain something like this then if i uh, maybe do fill like here and factor okay as you can see uh it's nothing uh like uh the thing that we have seen here yeah it's quite different so and this is an example even in the in the book they did it um and they shown this thing here so as you can see they they here use geom tile so instead of the call that i've used but then with the line as you can see the the things like um it's more rounded and looks different and quite similar to what i wanted so then if I change this to a line, it doesn't go there. So, what I needed to do is to build the plot like this. Like one line uh, after, after the other. So the first line, that's why I, I needed, because to make a line, I need at least two points. So I needed to add uh, a row in the subset here, the, the, this one here, to, to build the first one. Then the second one would be the first one and the second. Okay, so we have these two and so on and so forth because they are six okay we have six years so as you can see we have these lines now if i add the gold polar this thing okay I obtain something which is not exactly what I wanted, but quite similar. Here cannot be seen properly, absolutely not. But uh, because um, there's many, many reasons. So what I had to do is to add some space within the lines because otherwise they were all attached to, to each other. And so to, move, to, to have uh, spaces within the line, I had to add something to the years. But then if you, to the chord polar, add, um, you, you need to add scale reverse because otherwise, it doesn't show up uh, in the way it should. So now it's something, uh, as you can see, change it completely. So before it was this, and now is this one. And uh, this is the interesting part because I have added expansion, expand, expansion. This uh, add, um, let the lower and upper 
respond uh, to increase or decrease as, as long as you like. But then if you add this scale continuous as well, as you can see, things change. It's not, it's not perfect because uh, the red one should be longer then so this the proportion of these two is not what what we want um, but it's quite uh, similar and so we can use chord polar you can decide where to start you can decide for the direction and if it's clip off or on clip means that you let um, data going outside uh, of the, the boundaries and then uh, um, you can add scale for example this scale continuous with this expand expansions this changes the things completely for example if i decrease this to five as you can see uh, now done it completely but changes if i do this to four so the thing um change. and then this one increase or decrease the plot make it bigger or smaller and so th this is a, a quite interesting um, example to see then you can add features uh, for making exactly as, as uh, in the original uh, plot. The only things that um, I've doubt about is this proportion, which is in the original plot, this bit is quite longer, while these other two are shorter. As you can see here. Um, yeah, uh, that, that's something that I've just found out while searching for making this system. As you can see, the brown and the bluish thing uh, lines are shorter while the red it's longer. So the proportion within this beige thing and the red is quite different uh, then then uh, moving around the graphic changes but um, I've saved a, um, a picture uh, here so this is the original one and this is uh, the end what it's quite similar, but it, it is not, as you can see. Um, besides the fact that uh, there is a way to make this thing squishing, um, and this is more uh, rounded. So, and this, you can do that with aspect ratio. And I didn't know absolutely nothing about these things. And it's very difficult to find this uh, on the internet because there is not much information. Inside team, you can use aspect ratio and changing these values. For example, if I do one divided by one, the two divided by one, which means not, it's not one, but this is the proportion of y, um, this is the proportion of y divided by x, the axis. So if I do this, oh, um, 
if I do this, as you can see, squish the, the entire plot. If I increase this to nine, this make, makes it uh, rounded, but still the proportion within these two, so the red thing is quite longer while the brown is shorter. So I don't know, uh, there might be some adjustment, poster adjustment. You can uh, even do differently using um, the multiplication thing in addition to the add, but this um, changes the things uh, even further. You can add uh, two values um, for both axes or just one. And so this is what I wanted to, to show. And then finally, the last bit of this chapter, which is uh, quite um, straightforward. I don't know if you have any questions, I don't know. Um, one more interesting thing is the chord transformation. I didn't try this on, on, the, on the plot. And um, in, the, in the book, they, they presented this chord transformation, for example, setting up a, a data frame with some values and showing up the difference within a tile and a line, and then applying the chord transformation with the log 10. So as you can see, the tile, it's like a uh, little smaller, and then while the, the line curves a bit. So, but then a uh, more interesting thing uh, can be seen, for example, if I use the iris and the sepal length, the petal length. Here uh, with the stat bin, and then the log, we have this result. Why if I use the core transformation, setting up the power 10 this way, like the scales and the um, exponential transformation 10, the smooth curves as an exponential. So I haven't tried this uh, chord trans transformation which can be quite interesting. And then finally, the last bit is this. this we have called map, quick map, called simple features. And so you just make a map and then add or the quick map or the chord map, which allows you to use some op different options. The quick map, it's like um, two dimensional map, while the chord map is a bit more, uh, it's, it's slightly different. It depends by the option that you choose inside. The ortho is nice because you can set coordinates and it turns the, the globe around as you like. For example, if I take this, and go back to R. And I do this thing. And then um, if I want to see the word map here, there are some um, op different options that can be used. Uh, uh, orientation, for example, is another. So use orientation, and then um, you can set uh, some values. 
for example. So you can you can even go to um, uh, Google and search for um, Google Map. and search for some like a view that you like to uh, turn the globe to uh, I have a globe and turn this around I want to, I want to, to set this thing here Here. Okay, so I have the coordinates and I can use this coordinate. In a way that the globe turns around. Everything. Um, yeah. Um, very uh, uh, fast and forward. <laughs> okay. Have you got any questions? Let's see what what is uh, ah okay. Is there any way to uh, just get a pro portion of the polar plot? Yeah, I'm trying to understand why uh, this thing is 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 different. So it's not. Mm, the same length. I don't understand why it's not the same length. I can adjust this uh, differently and see that it changes completely. Mm. Changes completely if I adjust this differently. For example, if I do this to one, but this is shorter still, while this is longer. So you say, why don't you put this to 19? So it must be uh, some explanation, which I haven't got time to. So I still haven't found it, but um, maybe next time. So we we've done. So we we can even uh, jump into the other two chapters uh, if you don't have uh, any other questions. 
Thank you. Yeah, I don't have any question, uh, but I, I haven't uh, read the next one. So, I, I mean, if you are ready, then and June, whatever you think, I'm, I'm fine either way. Okay, Let, let's uh, meet each other next week to for the other two chapters. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Bye. -bye. Bye.